Hey, Miles. Um, so I got your email. I really like the way that you um, explained exactly what your problem is. The only thing I might um, ask of you uh, to do differently in the future is if you can go ahead and just send me every single Java file with uh, the, that's in this project that you're working on because sometimes it can be just some some random thing that that's not even directly uh, associated with the method you're working on. So it's it's um, helpful to me to have, like I said, every Java file from the project just in case, and then that way I can, you know. Um, compile the whole thing and look through just in case there are things going on in other places. But um, I really like the way that you um, explained how you're trying to follow along with the artist example and um, um, you know gave me exactly the error message that you're getting and everything. That's really nice. Um, so let's take a look then at um, at this project and see what's going on. So the question was um, implement a method in your music organizer that lets you specify a string as a parameter and then remove all tracks whose title contains that string. Okay, so we have that so far. We have the public delete uh, track and then a string that says track to remove and that string is going to contain um, that string is going to have a title. Is going to going to. Oh wait, we want to remove all tracks whose titles contain that string. So that string is going to be some fragment of a title that we're going to match um, against all the tracks and see if those tracks have that title or or contain that that string. If the titles contain that string. All right, so let's see here. So what I did was I copied in your um, method into a uh, music organizer project. And yeah, we can see if we compile, I got the same error you did, cannot find uh, symbol variable get track. So what I want to do though is since you brought up the, the um, example, which is a great way to approach these things, I want to take a look at that. So I'm just going to comment out this. Um, this method for now, just so we make sure everything compiles. And oh yeah, and I added um, some uh, comments in here that I'll talk about in a little bit too. But so for the removing by artist, what I did was just you know added a, a method header and and put the um, code given in the book into a um, into the body. So, and I, I stuck on this um, uh, comment, remove track, tracks whose artists match the search string. So here we're, we're, um, we're using equals. We want to get an exact match of the um, artist with the um, artist listed on the track. Okay, so so we have, yeah, so we have this uh, input parameter, artist to remove, and um, we're looping through. So here's the, um, here's what, I'm, what I want to highlight right now, because the issue that you were having, the, um, the thing that was giving us the error was this get track down here. So let's take a look at what, why does, why does this one work? Okay, so this one is get artist. And if we go to, and, and actually this method is being called on this guy. So we have t.getArtist. And t, the variable t, is a reference to a track object, right? So we're looping through and getting a track object. So our track objects have to have a, have a method called getArtist that we can call to get the artist. So let's take a look at that. Uh, where do I have it? Okay. So in our track uh, class, we actually have a get artist method. Okay. So 
Um, and notice there's no get track method. So one problem is um, get track is not going to work because um, there's no get track method in here. So you you could say get artist, you could say get title. Um, okay, those are choices. So actually, let's let's take a look then. Um, so see here, we can say where we said get artist, we could say get title. Let's try that. So I'm going to get rid of this. And let me get rid of that. And let's change get track to get title because really we want to check the title each time, right? And we don't we don't have to do this, but we can change uh, this so the string that we're getting is the title. So we can just change we can change that to title. And just like we had artists to remove, we're removing a title. Okay, so we're looping through the tracks and looking for an artist in that particular track. And here we're we're looping through the titles and pulling out a you know I'm sorry we're looping through the tracks and pulling out uh, tracks that contain a certain title. So I'm going to change this to title to remove. Okay, and now let's try. And there's still a problem, and it says the same thing. Can I find symbol variable get title? Well, notice with get artist, what we have is we have these parentheses. When you call a method, you always need to put parentheses, even if there are no parameters in that method, because if you don't, um, then Java interprets this as the name of a variable. So if you had a field, called get a public field called get title which we don't we're not even doing public fields I don't think anywhere in this class so um, um, in general when you're when you're using dot notation in this class you're um, uh, using it to call a method from another class okay from another op, from an object in a, of a different class so um, Let's see that. Okay, so that compiles. Now there's one other uh, issue here, which is, let me just make sure I got this right. Um, yeah, we want to remove all tracks whose titles contain that string. So not necessarily um, equal, but containing. So you want to... Um, I'll leave that up to you. You want to, instead of saying equals here, you want to use a, um, a different method to check to see if title to remove is contained in um, title. Okay, so yeah, so look around, see if you can figure that one out. And if you're not sure, uh, give me another holler and we'll, we'll get you there.